Hello everyone, and yes, once again, we are discussing anti-aliasing, and the reason for this is because of my recent test, as I promised you guys I was going to experiment with this a little bit more, I think I hit the sweet spot. I'm not sure, but after looking at a couple of my sample prints coming off the printer, I've realized that the layer lines are nearly invisible on one of the examples, and even did a better job finishing off the top, and there were less air bubbles and air pockets that got captured in the little swoops of hair at the very last bit of the print. And I'll show you guys that at the end when we actually show the examples of the prints because I do a show and tell on this one. It's not just a tell. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, we're doing a little time lapse of me doing some support work on Superman. This is a uh, davidosman.com uh, bust piece. It's actually a little bit larger than this, but I'm, I shrunk him down just a teeny weeny bit to make him fit on my smaller scale builds. So I could make a couple of them at a time, and then I was going to do the aliasing test with a bunch of different settings done, uh, so that way we could go over and show you those results. And what it actually was, we did three different aliasing settings. We did a sharpened detail, a smooth surfaces, and then we did nothing. Because I was really curious, because we hadn't done that one before, where we actually compared the settings to nothing. Where we just did, okay, this one was done zero aliasing, and... They were all done on the same model printer. They were all done with the same settings. They were all printed at 50 microns and uh, they were all printed using the same exact 8K resins. So we know that the factors were only the aliasing. That is the only difference. The supports were the same. The supporting was well enough. There was a little bit of a layer lining issue towards the bottom of Superman's stomach where he had a, a it looks like a little bit of a heavier pull there and so some of that may very 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 minor 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 defect in the final product nothing you couldn't sand out uh but other than that uh, and all three of them actually consistently had that because I think it was just just me being a little under supported there which is strange because if you watch me do this time lapse on the supporting um I actually thought it was a little heavy for the most part but he pops right off the supporting that's not a problem uh the issue was that little bit on the bottom of his stomach there and then that kind of just it, like i said you, you'll see it in the final prints uh there's a little bit of a heavy layer line issue there a little bit just a little bit it's only noticeable when you're looking at it from the right angle too and like i said it's just you can sand it right off um anyway the point of this is is that we went over these three different settings for aliasing because i was trying to figure out what is the sweet spot? Where do I need to be in order to get the best detail from my print without sacrificing uh, or muddling any detail? You know, where do I need to be? Where, where is the printer's best settings going to be? Now, I think it also depends on the type of printer you have. Some, some printers will ignore these settings almost entirely, and so you're literally shouting into the wind, and they're going to do nothing. Um, now, I know if you're using, um, <clears throat> what is it, Lychee, and you're using a Chi2 Systems printer, I know they don't like talking to each other, but I don't know if that's an issue that's been addressed over the years. Um, I know that Lychee Systems and some of the Anycubic firmware, if it hasn't been updated, you might have some issues there, with, especially with the two-stage um, uh, Z-axis, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the elevator. So with that being said, um, aliasing doesn't always change anything. And so I was really curious to see what none versus something would do. Um, and this thing has a lot of interesting shapes and angles anyway. So I knew it was going to present some layer lining regardless of what orientation or how we did anything. And I said, okay, this is the perfect example. So we printed, like I said, printed three of these. I'm going to show you guys at the end how they came out. And we used sharpened details uh, with a 20% gray offset. And I did the highest level I could for these printers, which was level 8. Um, the alias setting 2 was smooth surfaces at 50% and a two pixel radius. And as I said, the last one was none. We used absolutely no aliasing on the last one. So we had three prime examples there of the same print, supported the same, 
done the same. And clearly all came out around the same quality. And you'll see for yourselves when we get to the end of this video, which is, we, this is actually a pretty short one, uh, that the details do kind of, they, they, they're hard to catch. Not saying that they're not there at all, but you're going to see that the, the, the minor isn't so bad. You know, to say that, well, do I need to throw anti-aliasing onto every single print? Probably not. Uh, if you're working with an older printer, you're working in 4K, or you're working with 4K resins or resins that aren't high-end capable, more than likely you're going to see that it's not going to have as much of an effect for you. We're just going to finish up this uh, supporting real quick. Uh, and uh, we're going to, when we pop back in in about two minutes, I'm going to show you guys the final prints and how the different aliasing settings did affect those prints. Be right back. Okay, and here we are with Superman and Superman, and I'll pull up the other Superman in a second. You can see here, we do have some differences, and if you can spot them right away, please raise your hand. No, I'm just kidding. But do leave your comments. Which ones do you folks think look the best? Um, and I'm going to tell you which ones each one are in just a second. I just wanted to mess with you a bit there. So, the one on the far left there, no aliasing whatsoever. The one in the middle is going to be your smooth surfaces. That's number two. And I'm going to pull up the other one in just a moment. And that is going to be our sharpened details uh, aliasing setting. And again, that was max level, which was eight. 20% offset on the gray. And I'm going to be honest. I was using sharpened details before. But I didn't use any gray offset or didn't use very much. And occasionally... I would even lower the level, you know, two, four, whatever. And uh, I found that the results were okay. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But you could definitely see some layer lines, you know, layer or fingerprints. Sometimes I call them because they just kind of look like fingerprints. This was just, it surprised me. When I, I did the 20%, I did the max level, and then I did the, um, a, you know, the, the high definition, what they call the high definition uh, slice which is a lychee feature now. And uh, 
Yeah, I honestly think the one on the far right came out the best. The one on the left, with no aliasing, surprised me. With the resin we're using, DLP Craftsman Gray, it looks good. No problems. The one in the middle, which is smooth, which is, I think, Leechy's preferred aliasing method they tell you to use. Smooth surfaces um, with about a 30 to 50% gray. Uh, and that's usually what's recommended. In this particular case, I actually think the sharpened details one came out the best. But the two on the right actually look the cleanest, with the one on the left having the most actual visible defects under a nice light um, or zoom lens. And I'll show you too as well on the tops of their heads. Um, there's also a slight defect there as well where there are some air bubbles that formed on each one of them in almost the exact same place except for the sharpened details model. That one actually had the least amount of trouble on its head. And you can see that there. Um, the smooth one in the middle and then the no alias thing. You've got like some little air pockets there that got caught. And sure, they're tiny, but they're still there. And we'll go over to the sharpened one, and you'll see that it's it's not there at all. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you took something away from it. Do uh, leave us some comments. Let us know which one you thought looked the best. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to sub. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.